Hi everyone, so let's start off with a garden tour. This here is my, um, I'm not sure what kind of tree it is. It's a fruit tree. I think it's like a, it's like a plum. And look, it's got such a pretty flower. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this tree. I've been pruning the, I've been pruning it to death. And I've been taking off any uh, limbs that are not fruit producers. So hopefully we have all these blooms. Hopefully it's full of bees sometimes. I don't see any right now, but it's really exciting. This is my yard. As you can see, it's full of dandelions, which I've decided not to pick up this year so that they can, because uh, they're attracting all the bees, which are great for my fruit trees, because uh, right now I don't have any flowers outside, not very many. And because um, and they also, they have a tap root, so the root goes really deep down and it, um, it kind of tills the ground for you. And so once they die off, those roots will stay in there and decompose and uh, feed, feed the soil. Here are some trees that I got this year. Um, right now is a really good time to go buy trees. If you get bare root ones, they're like $21.95 at low, so it's the cheapest you're ever going to find them. This is a cherry one, and it started with these blooms, but no flowers yet. And the blooms opened up into leaves, so that's kind of interesting. And this is a pear tree. I got so excited that I got it um, with no activity, because that's the best kind of tree. If you get a doormat tree, that means that it's, it might have an easier time acclimating. So now it's it's in there. Oh, that's my little doggy. <laughs> and uh, it's got little nubs coming out. So I'm really excited for those. This is another new addition. It's a red currant. I never had one. And it looks like it's doing good. It's not too stressed. And it's producing little, little nubs. These are my blueberries. That one's hella stressed. That one's hella stressed. And that one already has little buds. So I'm excited for it. I don't remember. I think that's a duke. And I think that's a blueberry. Which I have blue yeah blu-ray r-a-y which i have another one of them they're so pretty they get red leaves in the autumn this is my garden bed i used to have cardboard inside of it that's why there's cardboard all over the floor i used to have cardboard inside of it and now i threw all the autumn leaves they used to be like up to here and they've all kind of just fallen down which is kind of cool it's uh clay under there so it's hard to plant stuff in it i bought some peat moss that I'm gonna take off all the leaves, work the peat moss into the soil, then put all the leaves back on. And it's a weird shape. Uh, I wanna change it into an L shape because as you can see over there, there the sun goes like this. Uh, once you start getting uh, figuring out your garden, you figure out the sun in your garden, you'll know where to put things. So right now we have all this area that's just all shade all day. So I wanna move it forward. We can put some shade stuff in the back, but it's not very, useful over there for planting for, th for planting vegetables I don't know what kind of tree this is but it's really pretty and hopefully it'll give us shade in the little patio area there's a peach tree and it's not doing so well it's a little bit dried out and um, and all the buds on it died but hopefully uh, sometimes when you buy a tree you're not buying it for that year it, well generally you you're buying it for the next year uh, so these buds, nothing probably will come of this. Hopefully it gets a good root system. There's a little columbine that I bought. It's not doing so hot, but it's in here and I got this at a thrift store. So isn't it so beautiful? I made this path myself. So this used to be a little bit of, a little bit of rocks. Rocks and then all dead grass. So what I did is I flipped that grass over and let it decompose and kind of build up the build up the ground. And so I just made it like a little mound, which I thought it, I think little like gardens that have little mounds are so cute instead of just all flat. And then for this, it was all dead grass. All of this from here to here was dead grass. So I flipped it over and then I dug even deeper and threw all of that there and made a little path. Uh, I'm poor, so I've been getting the rocks like one or two at a time. <laughs> and I have some stuff that's coming up for the spring. I got that little bird out raw, so it was like six bucks. I got so excited. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that you saw the journey. There's a hollyhock. There's some. Um, uh, there's a hollyhock from last from that I started late last summer. That made it through the winter. There were three of them. Only one made it. There's some. Um, there's some mums from last fall that I took out of the ground because they weren't doing so hot. Um, and then I have, I don't know, there's something there. It might be just be a weed. So I have some Irish moss that I bought this year. Uh, <laughs> there's a little teeny, teeny, teensy little lavender that somebody gave me. 
There's. I, I'm hoping these are lilies. I had some lily. I had lilies all over, and they all died, but that came back. I don't remember that what that is. Those are some Veronicas or Speedwells, and they're purple. I can't wait for them to come back. Those are there. Look, they came back. I had them in my little area in the front that was all shade, and it died. Um, lupine that I bought this year. I'm really excited for that. I don't remember what that is, but it's alive. I took it from the. I moved it from the other garden bed. These I got in a little set of six. They're little um, dusty mellers. They're so pretty. I love a, I love how white they are. Um, pot of gold. I've never had that. And it is now blooming. It's really exciting. Another peach so that they can cross um, pollinate. And it doesn't want to be next to the house. I'm a little worried about it. It might make a lot of rat rattling once it grows up. And it starts hitting my wall. <laughs> That's my bedroom. <laughs> um, I think it's an allium. I hope so. I hope it is <laughs> a cat, uh, ornamental ornamental kale that didn't do so hot. I thought it was dying, but I was so excited to see that it's actually flowering now. Um, two hyssops, uh, a boa hyssop, and a agastaki, or I don't know. <laughs> um, my tulips. I think these are like a light pink. But it's looking kind of purple and it's so beautiful i think it's pink and purple and then some iris it's purple iris and as you can see this diva is about to bloom i think some white yarrow and this yarrow also has little buds about to shoot out some mint uh, some onions more dusty miller um a uh, blue fescue with some sticks uh when i Turned on my plum tree. I took out a whole bunch of sticks and just stuck them everywhere, hoping that some of them would bloom. And then, if I'm super lucky, that some of them would turn into little little tree start, little little tree starts. Which it looks like I have some sort of luck right here. These have little little blooms that are ready to pop. So I'm excited. These have little blooms that are ready to pop. So I'm excited. Looks like one of them took out of like 40. <laughs> Getting ready to throw them all away. Well, here's my shed. I have some strawberries. These are a mixture of ever bearing, but I have some that are pink that are bare in June, I think, or sometime. They're not doing so hot when they're black in the middle. That's that means they frosted and they're not gonna be good. Um, and I just learned recently that you need pollinators, or else they're not gonna you're not gonna get any fruit. So and fantastic fucking news, they live. Ah, oh, so pretty. It's gonna be the same kind of strawberry. Here's a whole bunch of greens. They're overcrowded. I'll figure out where to put them later. But it's a whole bunch of cabbage. There's lettuce, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. I don't remember. Here's a little area. My dad built a little trellis and we put um, cucumbers and this just gets all really green with cucumbers. My mom planted some green onions right there. My mom planted some green onions right there and they produced a lot that I've separated them out. But this seems to be a good spot for them, even though it's in full shade all day. Let's see. This I'm so excited for this my uh, uh, Macintosh apple tree that I got last year. And it's got little flowers coming through. I'm really excited. Recorded that video a, a week ago or so. I now have blooms. Look at them. They're so pretty. They used to be bright red, now they're like a well, it rained today a lot, so they're all wet. But uh, they're lightly, they're lightly pink and then white. I think there's some red ones though. See, the, there's a red one. And spring stuff comes and goes so quickly. So as you notice in the video, I have a lot of I have a lot of updates because it just comes and goes so quickly. Look, the tulips are leaving. These I thought they were gonna be for, uh, they were gonna be the pink ones, but these are actually the black ones, which ended up being dark purple. So that is, look how big these are. That's my nephew. And these are the tulips. They're his size. Ah, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Not those. There's that. I got more little blooms coming for those. And I added, um, I added mulch since the last time. This is really cool. I got it uh, free off of Facebook. And it's a mixture of pine needles, pine cones, and bark uh, that were all chipped. So it's got a lot of different types of organic material that's gonna deteriorate a lot quicker and feed the ground and I think it looks pretty cool. 
My plum tree used to look like this, and now it looks like this. It's full of leaves and all the petals have died. And now we have to move the fence back. The blueberries, they're still not doing anything, but this one's blooming or about to bloom and so is this one. To close out the video, I'll just show you just how many freaking dandelions are. They're all over. The whole lawn is dandelion, look. So go ahead and um, comment any questions if you have any. And my Venmo's down there if you're able to support me. <laughs> and thank you so much. So everybody who's donated so far has helped me push through. And I hope you all are pushing through. And I hope uh, you find some gardening stuff to do to keep your mind busy. I'll see you later.